And there was a man, I remember he was sort of short, in the back of the room, and he raised his hand, and I, I on him, and he was from Canada, but he lives in Canada now, but he had a heavy accent, and he began reading very innocently. He said, um, I did not learn multiplication in third grade. I did not learn to write in third grade. And he listed all these things that he didn't l learn in third grade. And then he said, in third grade, I was in Bergen-Belsen. And, you know, the whole group, he was really, it was matter of fact for him. But the whole group froze. And it, it dropped, the idea of third grade dropped through the floor. Um, it was an amazing experience, so I never forgot it. So when Rich called, I reminded him of it, and he thought, said, do you remember everything every student <laughs> writes? <laughs> I said, of course, Rich, I remember everything you wrote. <laughs> But it, it's been really fine to be here. This is a wonderful, wonderful conference. People who didn't know me that I'd meet in the elevator or in the hallway, I'd say, are you having a good time? And they'd say, this is awesome. You know, they said they're just having a great time. And I, there's just a great feeling here. And I really appreciate it. I also have um, some close friends, my old college friend, Carol Risen is here, which is nice. I actually went to GW, which I, nobody knows about. It's kind of a little kept secret, but it's been fun to be back in Washington. And I went there about 40 years ago or so. So it's fun to be back in Washington, which is a wonderful place. And I also, how many of you are therapists? Okay, most of you. I really, really want to thank you. I want to thank you for the work you do. I know that it's not easy and that sometimes it's really hard. And I, I want to tell you that I, um, I practice Zen very, very hard for about 20 years. And I saw pretty deeply into the nature of what it is to be a human being. Yet there was this solid rock in me that I could not penetrate, that was untouchable. And um, the last seven years, I've been in therapy twice a week for seven years. And I just think it's the most wonderful thing. I've been able to penetrate. You know, it was my childhood. So in other words, I could really see large and deep. But the most personal thing, I needed someone sitting opposite me to break the old pattern of isolation and abandonment. And it had to be done very slowly and simply, one to one. And we're doing it, real, and I call it now my deepest Zen practice.